first projects here, the Energy Garden. What the Energy Garden was, uh, we uh, wanted to produce a feedstock for biodiesel and we wanted to experience that from planting the crop to harvesting and then processing um, it to extract the oil from it. The objective you know, of the Energy Garden basically was to produce one gallon of vegetable oil for conversion into biodiesel. We use cow manure for the peanut pots and compost chicken manure for the sunflower pots as our fertilizers. We calculated using the techniques of dimensional analysis. We figured out by a 15 by 15 feet plot for the peanuts will be expected to yield pretty much 814 liters hectare of oil and an 18 by 18 feet sunflower pot would be able to yield 571 liters per hectare. June 4th, 2007, myself and the bioenergy interns planted this 18 foot by 18 foot sunflower plot. The approximate area is about 324 square feet. It took about a week for the sunflower plot to start sprouting up. The scientific name for our sunflower plot is Helianthus annus. Right now we're probably within our first month and a couple of days within the plot. What we're going to use is the seeds that are harvested from these sunflower plants. We're going to use that to make um, biodiesel. You can see where some of the sunflowers are starting to wilt. We notice that a lot of birds are coming here and like standing on the sunflowers. And we're getting a lot of bees and a lot of insects pinching the sunflowers. So I guess with the sunflower plot, yeah, nature is actually calling and we're seeing a lot of birds are turned this way but because of the high temperatures and the sun coming from this side the heads actually turn here which is pretty cool in a few weeks of being ready to harvest you gotta wait till they uh, till they dry out um, so the seed is filled out with the oil because it's during this time that's filling out but we're gonna harvest them we're probably gonna hand harvest them but in uh, in real cultivation they are um, they're harvested with the combine Yeah, we don't really know what happened to this. A month we planted the peanuts, we found some difficulties. We, this is a picture illustrating that. Um, this was a whole patch and we found half the patch was growing fine and the other, patch, the other half just um, basically died out. We had a lot of hypotheses. We found a lot of broken glass. And um, one of the first things we did was test the pH of the topsoil and a uh, tested again at a one foot level of the bad side and the good side. But the results, um, there wasn't really a difference of pH as far as the good and bad side. The, the pH of the good side of the topsoil was 5.9 and the bad side was 5.7. And a foot, a foot deeper it was 6.2 for the good side and 6.3 for the bad side. So we knew it wasn't pH. But the conductivity of the good side was um, a there was a hundred percent difference in level of conductivity one foot deep. The conductivity indicates salt, salt concentration. Salts in the soil. So for the good side it was 18.5 and for the bad side it was 40 which is a hundred percent increase essentially. So we just decided to, to treat it and see if we could fix the problem. That's and we're leaching it. Like we've watered it um, three times today. I watered it three times today for about 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes um, every time to try to leach leach the soil and get get that salt level down yeah. because um, peanuts are really intolerant to salt of concentration. Salt. Yeah, and also that's another idea behind the agrochars to try and if yeah. there's any sort of chemical that it might bond to that carbon and uh, not be active in the soil anymore. Yeah. So, so we're just trying everything. <laughs> yeah, we're trying yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah, at once it's just a shotgun. Uh, treatment just to try and fix anything that's wrong. Not anything sort of, we're not approaching this scientifically, but. We yeah. just want to fix it. Yeah. We want, we're going to replant today and hopefully, it doesn't take that long to sprout. So hopefully by time summer ends, summer, summer session yeah. ends, we'll see some growth, some new growth. And we're going to, we're going to harvest the peanuts too. Um, and then after that, after we harvest them, we're, we're going to turn that into uh, oil. Cause we already know how to turn it into oil with five days less than oil. And we're going to put, we're going to play around with oil presses and stuff to press the oil out.